Hello students, welcome to today's lesson. Our topic for today is Consumer Protection Control. In the course of this class, students will be introduced to instrument of consumer protection, organs or agencies of consumer protection and consumer association, manufacturer association, rent tribunal, and price control board. Now let's start with agencies responsible for consumer protection. And the first one we'll be looking at is price control board. The price control board was established for the purpose of controlling inflation by fixing the retail prices of certain essential commodities. The price control board also ensures that the provision of the price control decree is practiced. The functions of the price control board is as follows. 1. To fix prices for some essential goods. 2. To protect low-income earners. 3. To prevent hoarding of goods by the sellers. and 4. To control inflation. The next agency we'll be looking at is the Environmental Protection Agency. The basis of environmental policy in Nigeria is contained in the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Constitution empowers the state to protect and improve the environment and safeguard the water, air, and land, forest and wildlife of Nigeria. The objective of the Environmental Protection Agency are to maintain clean sewage system, two, to ensure disposal of refuse, that is proper disposal of refuse, three, to ensure treatment of polluted water, and four, to ensure that companies who cause pollution compensate the people in the environment. The next agency we're looking at is rent tribunals. Rent tribunals are also set up by the government to regulate any matter relating to rentage of shops, landed spaces, houses, etc. They are established so as to curb the excesses of landlords and agents by controlling rent charges. And the functions of rent tribunals are as follows: one. To curtail the excesses of agents and landlords, two, to control rent charge by landlords, three, to fix rent for certain category of houses, considering the location, and four, to ensure compliance with the rent edict by prosecuting offenders. Oh, the next agency we're looking at is the Food and Drug Department of the Ministry of Health. The duty of this organization is handled by the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, popularly called NAVDAC, and it, it is charged with the administering the provision of the food and drugs decree. And the functions of this department is, one, it helps to control and monitor the sales of canned food. Two, the department ensures that drugs to be sold are tested for safety purposes and it regulates and monitors advertisements in the media. We also have the Ministry of Trade and Industry. This ministry, in collaboration with other organs administer government laws and regulations regarding trade and industry in the country. Some of the functions of the Ministry of Trade and Industry include one, they monitor the setting up of businesses, two, this ministry enforces laws on trade and industry, three, the ministry ensures compliance with various acts or legislations, that is laws of the land. And lastly for this class, the ministry ensures that most of the goods imported or exported are regulated. Now, let's look at consumer association. 
consumer associations are formed by consumers to protect their rights and interests. They study the prices and the quality of goods sold in their locality and make recommendations to their members. The objectives of forming consumer associations are as follows. 1. To promote and protect the interests of consumers. 2. They act as a guide against deceptive and misleading advertisements. 3. They act as a check against exploitation of consumers by manufacturers and sellers. 4. They educate the consumers about their rights. 5. They pressurize the producers to produce high quality goods. And 6. They check arbitrary increases in prices of goods. And lastly, we're looking at Manufacturers Association. Manufacturers Association is an association of producers who come together to ensure that the quality of goods produced is high and that the members comply with their professional ethics. Example is Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. And the factors of Manufacturers Association are as follows. One, they protect the interests of their members. Two, they ensure high quality goods and services. Three, they serve as a link between their members and the government. Four, they ensure uniformity in prices of their goods. And five, they ensure members abide with their professional ethics. And before we go, let's do a quick exercise. Write out different agencies involved in consumer protection and state their functions and objectives. Good luck. With this, we've come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.